Hello, my name is Vikas Pota. The reason why we're organizing this global showcase for World Education Week is we believe that schools have incredible expertise in making sure that learning outcomes improve. Given the state of the world, we want to see the expertise from this particular school being replicated in schools all over our planet so that the world becomes better for everyone. That is why I congratulate this school for what it does and hope that those listening can, can take away conclusions as to how they should actually approach their own improvement journeys. Thank you all for participating, and I look forward to seeing you in many of the other events this coming week. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for supporting this incredible work, without whom we couldn't have put together this global showcase. Thank you, and I wish you well for this event. Fast-paced social, economic and technology-driven change is redefining our world. And having a broad range of skills such as creativity and problem solving has become far more important than being able to memorise information. To redefine how our children learn and to empower them for the future, parents, teachers and policymakers are overlooking a powerful part of the solution. Learning through play. Play is the rocket fuel of child development, and there is a growing body of evidence to support that play is fundamental for children's positive growth and well-being over time. It is also an essential way to foster the skills required to thrive in today's world. The LEGO Foundation aims to build a future in which learning through play empowers children to become creative, engaged, lifelong learners. To do so, we work with a range of partners around the world to change the hearts and minds of all of those who influence children's lives through our programmes, research and advocacy, so they can all embrace the transformative power of play. Examples of what we do include making sure that caregivers, practitioners and policymakers understand the importance of play, investigating, testing and scaling new ways to bring play-based learning into homes and schools, using play to help millions of the world's most vulnerable children cope with adverse childhood experiences and toxic stress. Or conducting research with some of the world's leading research institutions. Please visit our website and follow us on social media to learn more. Language connects us all. It's how friendships are formed, ideas are shared, and lessons are learned. Language is how we find understanding and express love. It's how we communicate our successes, both big and small. It lays the groundwork for learning and growth. And for an increasingly diverse student population, it can be the key to achievement in school and beyond. That's why Rosetta Stone Education is dedicated to language and literacy. We offer solutions designed to support teachers and their emergent bilingual students, recognizing and celebrating the knowledge, culture, and languages they bring to our classrooms. Our products are founded on the adaptive blended learning model for individual needs, continuous progress monitoring for better learning outcomes, and culturally responsive pedagogies for more inclusive classrooms. With solutions aligned with proficiency standards, we support language learning while exploring academic subject areas, paving the way to better outcomes. Because for all of us, language is everything. Dear T4 community, 
We talk a lot about teachers these days, but we rarely listen to them. Therefore, I am truly excited to join the T4 World Education Week to hear from teachers and school leaders all over the world how we can impact learning together. I'm particularly looking forward to the Global Showcase. 100 schools sharing their expertise and best practices, I believe, will be a huge motivation for other schools around the globe. I'm equally impressed by the T4 Solutions Challenge, its finalists and their solutions to real world issues in education. This gives me hope that we can, together, turn around education globally. The Jacobs Foundation is a proud supporter of the T4 World Education Week because we share a vision to reimagine learning and education by bringing together the brightest people who understand how children learn. Let's do this together. Hello, my name is Shichi Yamanaka, president of Kadokawa Duango Education Institute, which was established in high school four years ago. It is our great honor and pleasure to be selected as a showcasing school in the T4 World Education Week. And high school is a private upper secondary co-education school in Japan. The school is online correspondence school, so the students can learn anywhere and anytime. Inclusive, equitable, quality education for all is our mission, aligned with United Nations SDGs or four. And high school was established in 2016. Now the number of students is 16,000. It has become the largest high school in Japan in four years. Why? My colleague, Mari Shirata and Shogo Okita will introduce focal point of their high school education. I hope you can find an answer among them. Today, first, Mari will introduce the characteristics of overall and high school education. Secondly, Shoko will introduce our programs to foster students' employability, entrepreneurship, and life skills. Thirdly, I will introduce four, five points what is essential to achieve the aim of our education. After my presentation, we have a 10-minute question and answer time. Please send your questions and comments during our presentation. We will answer your questions after our presentation. Live automated captions are available for this presentation. Caption can be translated to six different languages, which are Japanese, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Korean, Russian, and Hindi. Well then, let's start. Mari, please. Hello, my name is Mari Hirata. I'm the manager of the Career Deve Development Department at N High School. Now I'd like to talk about the features of our school and what makes us so unique. N High School is an innovative online correspondence school located in Japan. The school was established in 2016 aiming to renovate the negative image of correspondence school by making the best use of information technology and providing unique learning experiences. Now we have more than 15,000 students enrolled, becoming the largest high school in Japan in just four years. Nearly half of our students live in Kanto, the greater Tokyo area, but we can find our students in every region of the country including the deep populated area and isolated islands. Our online education system enables us to provide equal education opportunities for everyone, even those with geographical disadvantages. At N High School, students study with the, with our original learning app called Eno Yobiko, which allows students to watch on-demand video classes, read textbooks and submit their assignments. With this app, students can study anytime, anywhere, as long as they have access to the internet. They can also adjust learning at their own pace 
so they can press ahead when they want to or they they can stop and take time. This learning app also enables the students to participate in live streaming classes where they can interact with other students and teachers by raising hands, writing comments or questions and take, taking quizzes. All of the N high school students have access to various IT tools to enhance their daily learning and communication with their peers. The school also offers a commute course for students who wish to learn on campus with their classmates. About 15% of the school population choose to take a commute course. We currently provide 19 satellite campuses across the nation and those campuses are also used for schoolings of online course students. Apart from five day schooling once a year, online course students are able to plan their own schedules as they like to fit their learning styles. Not only that, it gives the students the freedom to learn at their own pace and provide an opportunity to develop their independence through taking initiative of their own time management and learning plans. Being freed from fixed time schedules, students can spend more time on other studies of their interests or extracurricular activities. Alongside the compulsory subjects for graduation, the school offers a variety of elective courses to aid students in gaining com competencies and skills they need for the future work, such as programming, AI machine learning, web designs, entertainment business class, and so on. With these electives, we are making quality education possible by assigning professionals and experts who are active in the areas of their expertise as teachers. Programming classes taught by professional programmers who are working at an IT company, novel writing class taught by award-winning bestseller novelists, storytelling class by popular, popular novelists, web design class by professional designers and all sorts of creative lessons taught by top creators. The school also provides extra academic online classes for university entrance exam preparation taught by well-known top cram school teachers. Furthermore, sorry, furthermore, the school offers internships and work experiences in local industries in cooperation with local governments. There are more than 20 programs available, including squid fishing, dairy farming, swordsmithing, ship carpentering, traditional matagi hunting and more. These unique programs give the students an opportunity to develop their interpersonal communication skills whilst having a real life hands on experiences. At N High School also offers overseas summer programs at Stanford University and Oxford University. Both programs offer university campuses life experience, including a variety of lectures and activities at the actual university campuses. By commute, communicating and studying with participants from other countries, stud, students experience cultural diversity and develop um, better understanding of the different parts of the world. These wide varieties of learning experiences help students to develop their interests and it creates an opportunity for students to think about what they want to do in the future. And for those who already know what they want to do, the school offers a variety of advanced programs to pursue their prospective expertise. Besides these programs, the school also organizes events and field trips, both online and offline. By adding a new technology to traditional events like entrance ceremonies, we make our events unique and entertaining. We have our entrance ceremony in the world of virtual reality. In March 20, 2020, due to the influence of COVID-19, we had our graduation ceremony solely online, giving graduation certificates virtually with AR technology. We also have a range of events like 
online field trip in the world of the game Dragon Quest X, online sports festivals, presentation events, cultural events, and so on. We value the importance of creating an environment where students can communicate and form friendships, even online. More than 86% of inner high school students made friends through either online or offline. Students use Slack for homeroom, ses homeroom sessions, and there are plenty of online club activities available, such as eSports club, music club, computer club, and more, where students can work with fellow students across the nation. Amongst those clubs, Investment Club and Entrepreneur Club are two of the popular clubs the school offers. The Investment Club was established last year, having Mr. Yoshiaki Murakami, well-known Japanese investor and founder of Murakami Fund, as a special coach for the club to give lectures and advice. The club members make an actual investment and learn how the real-life economy works through the practice while studying finance and statistics. The Entrepreneur Club offers a practical education to teach students on how to build a business model and create a business plan with some support from external experts. The school provides up to 10 million yen in corporate funding to support the startup business ideas from the student groups. And three companies have already been established through the club. More than 85% of graduates 2020 have decided their career path. This number shows that the most of the students have found what they want to do and succeeded in connecting their learning to their future path. As I have shown, in high school provides various opportunities and optimum environment, both online and offline for students to discover and expand their interests and cultivate their individualities. Learning experiences at Anna High School is highly practical and students are able to acquire skills that they need to live within the society. On top of these diverse programs for students to develop their interests, the school incorporates project-based learning to cultivate students' life skills. Shogo, the next speaker will get into more details on this. Thank you for listening and I'll pass it on to Shogo now. Just a moment, please. All right, hello everyone. My name is Shogo Ochita, and I'm pleased to inform you on Eno High School's elective courses, such as project-based learning and entrepreneurship. Our school strives to build programs to enhance our students' employability, entrepreneurship, and life skills. With that objective in mind, I'd like to explain the five points of Eno High School's electives which students maximize their learning experience. We value the idea of project-based learning as a group that is designed by the students themselves, with external experts as their advisors using the internet and IT tools. I will explain each step through one of our many electives called Project N. Project N is an originally created lesson from N High School. It is a project-based learning for high school students to acquire the knowledge and the skills to succeed in society. Our school believes that conventional education, where the focus is on input, does not lead the students to become their best in such a rapidly changing society. We launched Project N to help students to develop the critical skill utilizing technological tools to suggest practical solutions to current issues. This year, we received the Good Design Award in Japan. In this award, design is 
defined as the amount of recognition for people to fulfill their ideas and purposes. The hours evaluate the quality of design, how it contributes to solving problems and finds new themes in a complex society. Project N was commended for the learning methods linked to problem solving in society. It was especially commended for some approaches which are setting themes related to social issues, learning up-to-date skills, and producing concrete outputs. From the next slide, I will explain the details of Project N along with five points. In Project N, students tackle current social issues and business challenges by collaborating with enterprises and public institutions. The project span is around one or two months. Students are required to implement projects in a limited time and gain knowledge of our society by participating. Let me introduce some examples. In one project, students tackled a project about planning healthcare games, aimed at encouraging young people to properly understand the idea of health. To achieve the goal, students studied the basics of game production based on a survey about young people's health. In another project, students tackled producing items to promote and spread sustainable development goals. Most students did not know the purpose of SDGs at first, so they studied SDGs and researched on how it was known to Japanese society. In project-based learning, in high school collaborates with enterprises and public institutions so that students can gain more practical knowledge. This is one of output students produced in the project of healthcare promotion. A student designed a smartphone game which aims to improve eating habits. This student estimated most university students who live alone have irregular eating patterns and may neglect their well-being. She also thought smartphone games enabled those university students to care about their eating habits while having fun. In this game, users raise cute ghosts by recording their eating habits. If the ingredients are insufficient, the game will suggest a recipe and neighboring restaurant so that user can eat well. In addition, the students introduced a feature where a user can interact with friends. These features of this game were what this particular student deemed important for users to continuously use it and become healthy. This is just one example. Students come up with interesting ideas in different themes of projects. Students work on problem solving projects as a group so that they can develop their interpersonal relationship and learn how to effectively communicate. Through this group learning in, in high school, students learn the way of communication and discussion from the basics. It is difficult for students to cooperate with classmates and implement projects in a limited time. So they train to achieve one goal with others through simple games. Teachers also encourage and respect the independence of the students. Although teachers lead students actively in the beginning, they gradually let the students manage their group by themselves and support them as coaches. Since Anna High School holds many campuses in Japan, it is essential to utilize technological tools so that students from different aspects of life can take advantage of remote learning. When learning as a group, Students mainly use Zoom, which is an online meeting system, and Slack, which is an online chatting system. These digital tools enable our students to implement group learning effectively. Discussing online, receiving feedback from the students in distant areas, real time. And high school encourages and respects the independence of the students and project management. Teachers only remain to provide guidance and techniques. Since most students have few experience of project management, 
they have difficulty in organizing tasks, planning the schedule, and overcoming many obstacles at first. To train the ways of project management, students start to manage themselves in their school life. They write the goals they want to achieve in school life on an objective management sheet. In addition, they keep a diary for recording purposes. The important point is that students experience managing themselves and compare their plan and actual results. Through the experience of a student repeating small scale project management, they become able to implement bigger projects which involve others. In addition, in high school places importance in customized learning experience for each student. The focus is put on proficiency, the ability for the student to express themselves in their respective levels and motivation, which the teachers step in to guide them accordingly. Students can receive advice from external experts who are specialists from, the, from their respective fields on each project and gain knowledge. In addition, students are given chances to present their project outcome to specialists and receive some feedback and evaluation. The feedback from specialists makes not only students' outcome more sophisticated, but also students' confidence. Furthermore, students can get chances to participate in a contest and present their products. Some of the students have received hours in an external contest, and students improve themselves utilizing a variety of opportunities. Students are required to use different applications and obtain general skills required in society by producing outputs with IT. Because the curriculum of a high school is designed on the premise that students have own personal computers, they need to study utilizing different applications in most classes. For example, as communication tools, students use Slack, which is an online chat system, and Zoom which is an online meeting system. Since in high school students live in different area of Japan, the use of this communication tool is essential. Also, when students produce outputs, they are often required to use G Suite or Adobe Creative Cloud. Creating outputs utilizing applications enables students to share and edit with others simultaneously. In the project-based learning, students produce a variety of outputs, presentation slides, brochure, or prototype of smartphone application. Let me show you an example. This is one of the items students produced in the project aiming for promoting and spreading SDGs. The student chose goal 15 of SDGs, life on land to promote the importance of sustainable use of the environment. They plan to produce items to appeal the risk of these damages. They decided to appeal the risk of slush and burn agriculture. They made special coasters made of thin wood. By the technology of AR, when you look at the coaster with your smartphone, you can see the examples of slush and burn agriculture. The risk of desertification and breakdown of ecosystems. Students study the basic use of IT tool by teacher's guidance, but once they master the way of use, they produce many outstanding items beyond teacher's expectations. That was the five points of N high school's elective courses. From the next slide, I will explain some extracurricular activities. My project is an extracurricular activity where students explore their own interests. Whether students already have found their interest or not, they can find their interests step by step through the program and develop them. In addition, a nonprofit organization called Kataliba participates in this program as an advisor, providing external staff as coaches. With 
the providing guidance, the students can explore their own interests aligned with the society. They are expected to participate after graduation. In this program, students explore their own interests to solve a problem in their community or in their immediate surroundings. For example, one student planned a project to vitalize the local community where she lives by promoting local products. As another example, one student planned a project to gain recognition of minor sports. This program emphasizes student ownership and any themes are welcome if students have their own interest and hope to explore it. After students learn the basic way of exploring their interest and implementing projects, students actively advance their projects and this leads to motivating environment where students encourage and support each other by beyond the projects. In the process of activities, students utilize online communication tools such as Zoom and Slack so that they can connect students in other areas and encourage each other. This is an example of a project to vitalize the local community where she lives by promoting local products. She came up with an idea of making shaved ice made of local ingredients and trying to promote it. Because of her positive action, she has been featured in some Japanese media. In this program, students are required to promote their projects. In Japan, many high school students don't actively appeal their dreams or objectives because they feel embarrassed or don't have concrete dreams or objectives. In my project, students are encouraged to spread the ownership and the social significance in their projects. Through these experiences, students become confident in appealing themselves to society. Some projects were awarded in a national competition. Students have chances to present their activities in a competition and receive feedback from external experts. The competition also allows students to communicate and encourage other school students. Another extracurricular activity in N high school is called Entrepreneur Club. Entrepreneur Club is an activity for students aiming to seriously start a business. To join the club, they need to apply and pass a rigorous screening. Since these students are seriously aiming to start a business, the club supports potential challenges as much as possible to help students to achieve their goals. Students encourage each other by presenting their business plans and receiving feedback in the club community. They can also participate in some contests and are offered opportunities to enhance their business plans. When students are ready for the startups, the club supports the initial cost. The students can receive mentoring and the chance of business matching by extra experts if necessary. They can also utilize the learning materials online if they do not have the proper knowledge about the business management. In addition, they can receive specialized support to start a business from an external expert concerning law and finance. The school needs to provide a curriculum to support students in different stages, from beginner to the higher level. In the entrepreneur club, the student from beginner level can take lessons to learn the basics of business online. They are required to understand the basics, but also to think and express what they want to achieve in the future through the online communication. On the other hand, the higher level students can gain opportunities to receive advice from external experts about their business prospects. Here is an interview video of a student who experienced my project program and entrepreneur club. They will talk about what they learned from the programs and what they want to do based on these experiences.
Hello, my name is Kazuya Koyama. I'm 18 years old and I attend the end high school. Last year, I was a member of the entrepreneur club at end high school and I would like to share my experience with you today. Member of the entrepreneur club work to find a viable business solution to social issues and we receive help, advice and support from leading expert inclusion company founders and presidents. I learned the funds with others from my project. Last year, I opened the Japanese shaved ice shop in my house to introduce the attraction of my hometown called Narada. I had many experiences which I did not run on the desk through the relationship between farmers, customers, and my family who implement the project together. I learned the importance of taking action. I developed web services in my project. At the beginning of the project, I couldn't write a program by myself. However, once I released the beta version of web service by my hardware, the same generation engineer had sympathy with my project and we decided to work together. Without taking action, I couldn't have found my project members. I was an engineer in high school, but now I work as a designer in a startup apparel company. What I learned from the entrepreneur club and my project helps me to work in society. Also, I work as a mentor of the entrepreneur club in N high school to share my experience and learning. I now work full time at Digitakano, which is currently one of the most exciting startups in Japan. In this new position, I get to run new things every day, and I'm honestly excited to be coming to work. Now, I study to go to university. In the future, I hope to go abroad and be active in the world. I want to broaden my horizons and work on a global scale by understanding a lot of culture and communicating with local people in the world. Thank you for listening. Those were the words from our students. Next, I will pass on to Shinichi. Thank you for choosing our presentation. I'd like to explain five focal points of N high school education. We think following five points, that is project-based learning, group learning, student-oriented syllabus, group learning, uh, external experts, and use most of information technology are the five important factors to achieve the aim of our education. Project-based learning was introduced in Japanese education in 2000 as a time for integrated studies in the revision of national standard curriculum. It was introduced as a symbol of education reform from 20th century education to 21st century education. It aims to shift from a teaching style focused on helping students cram for exams to helping students to acquire the ability to learn and think independently. But it caused bewilderment and confusion for most teachers and schools. Why did this cause confusion? It was because project-based learning did not have a definite range of what should be taught in the integrated study time in the national standard curriculum. In other subjects, such as mathematics and science, which what should be taught were written in the national standard curriculum and textbooks. Teachers didn't need to think about what to teach. But in the integrated study time, teachers and schools were allowed fully decide what to teach. They had to think by themselves. It caused national-wide confusion 
between teachers and schools. Teachers as well as students who are not accustomed to think by themselves. 20 years later, many teachers did not find so much difficulties, but still feel difficulties how to use this time, especially high school teachers, where teachers are expected to prepare students to pass the university entrance exams, which is based on the score of paper test to evaluate how much knowledge students acquired. And high school believes that project-based learning is essential to cultivate students' cognitive skills, such as creativity, critical thinking, intrapersonal skills, such as responsibility and self-regulation, and interpersonal skills, such as cooperation and leadership. We believe through the project and program, students get no, not only skills required for the working in society, but also motivation to learn. The mindset of students change from passive learner to active learner. Participating in the Project 10, students are expected to study in group. Through the use of information technology, we can cultivate interpersonal skills even in online education. Students are expected to learn based on their own syllabus. Of course, at first, teachers teach students how to get information, how to use them, and how to act properly in online circumstances. But after that, the role of teacher is not teaching, but coaching and supporting students. The role of teacher is to facilitate students to get advice from outside experts who are working on the same problem in real society. To get the advice and evaluation is critically important for project-based learning. We do our best maximizing the use of information communication technology to accomplish the purpose of Project N and in high school education. We hope you can apply these five points and our, our experiences for education and move forward together in realize that inclusive equitable quality education for all in this COVID-19 pandemic time. Thank you for your attention. Well then, let's move on to question and answer time. Oh. Oh, one question is uh, the project-based learning, Project N uh, classes for commute class are planned in regular timetable. Uh, my answer is uh, in an high school commuting class uh, course, the project in learning is uh, allotted. This uh, student study project in learning in every morning, two hours, every day. And at the time the students uh, join in this class and at first the teacher teaches the basic knowledge and then the project in starts. Uh, st students learn by themselves and teacher support their learning and to accomplish the uh, uh, aim of this project in each individual project. And that's, that is my answer. Are there any questions? Oh, uh, we are waiting for other questions and comments. Uh, you are welcome to send our, uh, our questions. And uh, my, I think uh, in any high school, uh, there are no super teacher in and high school. We think uh, there are many, many super students in, in high school. Uh, we believe and think and believe every student have a chance 
to be a super student while studying and learning in an high school. Every student should have a chance to flourish, develop their capability and skills at most. And I think the students can be able to their capability through these end project and in high schools education five points. Project based learning and group learning, student oriented syllabus, external experts through the use of information technology. Uh, this is uh, okay. Uh, we can do this because we are online school education school. But I think on campus school also can make these uh, points adapt apply in their uh, education. And especially this group learning or uh, communication skills would be developed fully in on-campus school. It is easier for online campus schools to cultivate these kind of interpersonal skills. But we do our best even through online education. We try like to cultivate interpersonal skills such as cooperation and work together, uh, feel the sympathy of other students with the use of, through the use of information technology. And you can see, if you saw the result of our application from some students' presentation, they did it. And many students in our high school are doing the same process. And we hope and believe they would be a super student uh, through the learning and teaching of our school. We trust our students and this is the very basic of our education. And and yes. あれ山中さん映像切れちゃってますね。どうしたと。はい、入りました。あ、お、愛情編。愛情編だけ。Sorry。愛情編だけ。And other comments There is a question. How are the group uh, decided? And, uh, for example, the N uh, N Project N, uh, 10 to 15 students are allotted to each group. And this group uh, consists of not regarding the grades of each student. Uh, first grade, third, second grade, and third grade uh, merged in one group and then uh, participated in the projecting program. The school and teachers brought these students in one group and another group. 
that's the way we, uh, how we make a group for projecting a program. Uh -huh. And other question is, uh, will you uh, we, we send us uh, send you materials to read after the lecture or to receive this is a video later? Yes, we will, and we will record uh, this presentation, and you can see our presentation after uh, this uh, presentation. Oh yeah, there is another question. How will students take uh, PBL? How do you keep them in interest? Yes, uh, every student uh, will have a chance to take PBL. And uh, as a question, uh, it is somehow difficult to make students uh, interest, continuous interest in this uh, PBL. But uh, when? the students take part in participating in this project based learning they really enjoyed and they like to learn or like to connect other people as an expert uh, how to solve the problem they are given or they are not asked and it is very very interesting when the students are allowed to learn by themselves or to decide by themselves how to accomplish the uh, project. They are very inspired to learn, inspired to act by themselves. It is very amazing uh, this uh, project-based learning and uh, students are oriented service and connect these students to external experts make a very, very uh, magical effect to the students. They changed from the usual traditional passive learner to transform to active learner while taking our education, especially in this uh, project and project, uh, project based learning. It's, uh, uh, every year, every day, we very excited to see uh, how the teachers change. Yeah, uh, there is uh, another question. I think this is the last question. Uh, do the students have to have the extra curriculum programs or it is not compulsory? It is not compulsory. Every student can have a chance to choose the extracurriculums uh, programs and depending on their interest and we do our best uh, to uh, reply the demand from students because it is difficult to de reply all the demands or requests of from students but we do our best to to satisfy the needs and interests of uh, our students and thank you very much. We think uh, it is uh, almost the time of our presentation. And we hope uh, many of you who are viewing this uh, presentation uh, find some hints from our presentation and make use of it and move together to realize the inclusive, equitable, quality education for all in this difficult COVID-19 pandemic time. Thank you for your attention and joining us. Thank you very much.